In today's video, I will show you how you can display dynamic pictures in a data-driven presentation. Pictures are great to illustrate messages, or like in this sample, you can show persons and faces. So we start with a simple Microsoft Excel file with two columns. The first column holds a name, and the second column holds the name of the picture that we want to show next to the name. So we will be able to change the content here in Excel and see it reflected on the information screens. In this sample, we create a information screen for a hospital where we display the names of the doctors that are present. So first of all, I will set up a dynamic link to the Excel file in DataPoint. I'm browsing to select the file as a data connection. Now I'm adding a query in order to select some data of the sheet. I select the sheet, set the maximum range, first row contains field names, and finally I set a refresh rate or polling interval. Okay, we now see a preview of the data. Now we have the data, and I will set up some three text boxes to display the names. Let me do some basic formatting on the text box. Now I click data point, text box, and I verify the connection, set the column to a name, and leave the row number at one. And now the first name of the Excel file is dynamically linked to this text box. Let me do some more cosmetics changes. Okay, let me copy this text box two times for the other names. I just increase the row number for the next row. Now I'm inserting a picture. I'm selecting a default uh, picture that I want to use here now, before we link it to the Excel file. Now we have to resize this image. Now I click data point, picture, it's asking me to convert this image into a data point picture. The column goes to picture, row stays at one. And now I see in the Excel file that the picture is just holding the name, the first name. So here we have the images. Go back to PowerPoint. And I select this option here that the column is displaying the file name only. Setting the extension and the folder, and now the image is dynamically linked based on the uh, Excel file. Copying. And again, incrementing the row number 
here to two and here row number three so now we are done all information is dynamically linked based on the uh, Excel information. So let me now change the Excel information that we have. I made a mistake here. It's not Amy, but Angelina. And you see that the image is updated. So now we can display this dynamic information on our information screen at the hospital and we can modify the content of the Excel file on a second computer and the information on the information screen will be updated automatically.